Uh, right, something I thought about, um, I thought I'd better just mention it because it may have an impact on what we've done to date. Um, I've been talking about these um, infrared detectors, which are really good, but the only, the only concern I have is that they might be too good. And what I mean by that is when the train passes a signal, you ideally want it to detect the, the front of the train and then start the sequence of signal changes. And it suddenly occurred to me that if these are detecting the entire train and then, then things may go a bit crazy because if you've got 30 wagons or nine coaches the signal detection will carry on for the entire length of the train which will then make the thing look a bit odd um, it may screw up some of the timings or something so i was just thinking about it. i think well how how am i going to get around that bearing in mind the train comes along green light comes on it's detected and then the train's carrying on it's still detected um i'm not entirely sure how to get around that other than hopefully the simplest way would be um because he seems to be quite good at detecting everything i think if you reduce the sensitivity of them so that they only detect something like a piece of silver paper and that's on the bottom of the locomotive hopefully when the locomotive parts it detects and then when the rest of the train goes past it's not detecting so that may be just something that you want to experiment with before you get too far into it uh, and you can do that quite easily with one of these, as I'm doing here. All I've done is I've just plugged a 5 volt supply into it. So it's not connected to the Arduino at all. It's purely a 5 volt supply. I mean, you could use the Arduino to provide 5 volts, I suppose. But you can then mess around with these on a bit of track and some, tra and some wagons and coaches and try and figure out the optimum sensitivity so that when the front of the train passes, it, it detects, and but it does not detect in the rest of the train, if that makes sense. Uh, OK, well, I'll leave that with you, um, which leads me on to my next uh, part of this project. Um, obviously, these are these are great, but I can see there being some trouble with them, particularly when the uh, the signal is interfered with things like the natural light inside the room or if your layout's in a, a building with windows, maybe the sunlight. So my next part of the video, which may, to be honest, be the better option rather than using these things, is to go with a simple reed switch and a magnet on the bottom of the train. So that's what I'm going to do next. It may turn out to be the best option. So definitely want to have a look at it and I'll see you back then.